I never um, had people like myself, let's say, come speak to me when I was a kid. And um, as a result of that, I think that, that um, a lot of my friends didn't necessarily have a lot of direction, didn't know what they wanted. They didn't have anyone, you know, not necessarily t to emulate, but, but to model their, their lives after. There's a lot more out there than, than all the bad stuff. And as you know, there's a lot of negative role models out there. And, and I think athletes, particularly female athletes, can be a big help to young girls. Um, because I think young girls sometimes, and I got caught in this, um, you know, I was, a, I was a good little swimmer when I was a kid, but, you know, my mom thought and, and my friends thought that I should be a Girl Scout, that I should be a brownie, like I should be doing other stuff besides being an athlete, because in their minds, being an athlete wasn't the most feminine thing that I could do. And I think it's important to reinforce to young girls that athletics, um, it's a very good thing. It keeps you healthy. It keeps you skinny. You can eat whatever you want, usually, if you swim every day. And um, I think that it's an important thing that, that we need to focus on. So I see that as one of my, um, one of my responsibilities in, as an athlete is to get young kids involved in the sport. I think that in anything you do, it's important to set goals. And obviously, when you're working your way towards a goal, whether to be to be to get an A in a class or to land a, a job that you've always wanted or to be a, be a successful athlete, um, you're going to have your bad days. In fact, your bad days are almost going to outweigh your good days. And I think the thing that I learned through my swimming was that if you have a bad day, you put it behind you, you forget about it, and you learn from your mistakes. There's always going to be disappointments. I mean, I had more disappointments in my swimming career than I had successes. And the bad times make the good times feel real good because you realize how bad it can really be sometimes if you're really unmotivated and really disappointed. I think I was very goal-oriented for a high schooler. I, do, I don't know why, I don't know what made me that way, but I realized that I had an opportunity to go to the Olympics, and if I had the opportunity that in 10 years I'd forget that I missed homecoming or forget that I wasn't, I don't know how to do the cheerleading routines that all my friends knew how to do. And I think that that attitude in high school helped me in my college career because I just kind of kept that same attitude. And it is easier when, when you know, you make all those sacrifices and you make all those commitments and then you go to the Olympics and win a gold medal because it's easy to sit here and say, oh, of course, it was worth it, absolutely, you know. But sometimes you do make those sacrifices and commitments and you don't reach your goals. Um, but then you have to look at it and say, you know, was it worth it? Is it something I want to continue and is it something I want to make myself better at the next time around?